Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Finance Focus Financial Fridays. Let's talk about investing. In part one of Investing in the Caribbean video, we will discuss the many opportunities for investment on the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange, ECSE. Located in Bastet, St. Kitts, the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange is the first regional securities market in the Western Hemisphere and the first regional stock exchange established by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. On the ECSE, there is a wide variety of financial assets available to diversify one's portfolio. So what is investing? To invest is to allocate money in the expectation of future benefit. In finance, the benefit of investing is called a return. But you should note, before investing, you must first ensure that you have life insurance and an emergency fund. You should only invest money that you are comfortable enough to lose. Presently, on the ECSE, there are a number of financial assets being traded, which includes shares of stock, bonds, notes, and commercial paper. What is a share? It is a unit of ownership which entitles the owner or shareholder to an equal claim in the company's profits and an equal obligation to the company's debts and losses. On the ECSE, there are 12 companies currently being traded across five countries. Because the ECSE is a platform for the entire Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, you can purchase and own shares from these companies across these islands. These shares are available in various sectors. In the bank and financial services sector, you can purchase and own shares in the St. Kitts National Bank the Grenada Cooperative Bank, and the Eastern Caribbean Financial Holding Company Limited, which owns Bank of St. Lucia. So in addition to owning financial services shares, you can also own shares in utility companies. These would include Domlek, Greenlek, and Lucilek. These pay really good dividends. Other companies on the stock exchange include SL Hosford Limited, and TDC Company Limited. So, your return from these shares are dividends. The earning from these shares would be as a result of buying as low as $3 today and sell at $4 tomorrow. You would therefore have a gain of $1. Note that there is no set time for these results. Rather, it depends on how the market works. So why and how should you invest? It depends on your personal finance goals. Shares tend to rise and fall in value, so they are better off as long-term investments. You can make money from capital gains or from income from dividends. With ordinary shares, shareholders are the ultimate risk bearers. So you would want to know for a fact that the company is making money if you are to receive dividends. If it doesn't make money, no dividends. They are also not obligated to pay dividends. It is important to know the history of the company that you wish to invest in over a period of time. Investments tend to grow your financial assets faster than savings. It is important to invest in addition to savings if you wish to earn in the short term. But be reminded, investment involves risk. Spend time with your broker or financial advisor to determine which of these products are best for investment or inclusion in your portfolio. This is important because we know in financial planning, it is hard to do on your own. Because this is one financial space in the ECCU, you can approach any broker from any of the Eastern Caribbean countries of your preference. Investment should not be the totality of your portfolio. Rather, it is recommended to sit with your broker to build a portfolio best suited to your needs. 
For more information, visit the ECSC website or the National Bank of Dominica. Thank you for watching another episode of Finance Focus Financial Fridays. Stay tuned for part two of Investing in the Caribbean.